Hello, I'm Joe, the engineer, living up in Wisconsin. Uh, this little video, I'm going to show how to use Fusion 360 and how to, how to create a guitar. Uh, I'm going to do three videos. First video is just going to be the modeling of the guitar. Second one will be the cam part of the guitar in the same software Fusion 360. And then the third part will be the actual uh, the milling of the body on the shop bot. Um, Fusion 360 is awesome. It's, uh, it's just, it's got a lot of capabilities, very similar to SolidWorks, and it has CAM built into it, and it's free if you're a student or a hobbyist. It's, it's really incredible. If you want, uh, if you need more information on uh, Fusion, you can uh, look up Lars. Uh, he's a Fusion 360 expert. And then there's also NYCCNC. There, he's fantastic as well. He's, he gives um, real examples of using it in a machining CNC environment. So, so this guitar is a. Uh, it's based off of a Jazzmaster Fender. It's a, a Tornado, and I'm going to use the um, the playback playback capability of Fusion 360 here to kind of show how this is done. Uh, the first part is that we bring in a uh, canvas, because uh, I'm going to use that to kind of create the perimeter of the guitar. Um, it's basically a PDF um, that I've found online. And then I converted it into a JPEG. Um, and then I can bring it into Fusion and I can kind of calibrate it, scale it size wise, get it to the right size I want, put it in the spot that I want. My origin's right here. That's my origin. Uh, guitars are very uh, centric um, things. So the, usually your, your zero of your guitar is usually, uh, your zero and X and Y is usually right, right at this point kind of a good point to use as a reference. Um, I'm using this center line as a reference through the build. I created a blank kind of similar to how I would do it in real life. Um, extrude it. See, I've kind of given it the uh, wood. I think it's uh, it might be birch or pine. I'm not, I don't remember which one. Uh, here's the sketch for the neck pocket. If you're unfamiliar with uh, modeling, usually you start with a sketch, which is in a two-dimensional plane, and then you do something with it. You extrude it um, three-dimensionally. You, you either revolve it, extrude it, cut it. There's the neck pocket being cut. And here you can kind of see all my sketches. You can name them. A couple of these sketches I didn't wind up using. I just left them there. So here's the perimeter. This is just a spline. So I kind of use that uh, canvas to kind of help me create that. And then I use that to cut that away from the from the blank. You can kind of see that I, it looks like I have a guitar body kind of sitting there. Here are the pickup cavities. Here are the uh, holes. This is the hole for the control switch between the pickups. And here are the holes for the pots. On the back, I've created the uh, sketch for the control cavities, or control cavity rather. That gets extruded or cut. And then the same thing with the switch cavity. That gets cut as well. Here is the cover cavity. That gets extruded three-dimensionally in there. You can kind of see it there.
There's the uh, cover for the switch. On the other side, I'm creating this relief here for the uh, for the front for your uh, arm arm relief, I guess you call it. Using a, a construction plane, I'm going to kind of cut that away. The material there, and there it's cut. I'm adding a radius right here as well. Here is the um, little sketch that I'm creating to cut the, the relief on the back of the body. There, I'm, I'm taking this, this sketch and I'm sweeping it through here, through this center line. And that's what creates this cut here. And it looks, at the feeling that's kind of how they did it in manufacturing as well. They had something that kind of swept through there, potentially. Because the, the geometry looks kind of spot on when you look at it from, from this view here. It looked very, very close. And a couple other little things I do. Kind of do something over here with the neck pocket. I like a little bit of extra material that the neck is actually sitting on. And that's it. You can turn the sketches off. And then um, turn the origin off. Looks like you got a guitar body. It's kind of cool. Fusion 360. Check it out. Thanks for watching.